Hi, one of the biggest things that seems to be happening at the moment in um, orchards particularly is the lack of pollinators. And a lot of commercial growers have to bring pollination in. They have to bring in bees and they have to get the pollination done by importing the bees to their orchards for a short time. And the other problem that they face is pest control. We have adopted an ecological approach here and that's so important when you're using regenerative methods. The benefit of using ecology is, um, first of all, you can control a lot of your problems very cheaply and you can build an environment which is self-sustaining and long-lasting and pretty passive, so you don't need to do very much with it. We made a video recently on why it's so important to have rotting wood. And this rotting wood brings in rove beetles and ground beetles and they feed on the pests, like the codling moth pupa and the tortrix and the winter moth and they feed them on them during the winter um, and in the spring. And then they rove around looking for other pests during the summer. We have a load of spiders here and we have many, many other predators living um, in the grass during the summer. We have a huge number of ladybirds and, and of course lots of birds and bats. And all of that ecology really controls so much of what we do here because we don't spray, we don't use any pesticides and our inputs are very, very low nutrient, as you know. Today we're looking at sowing wildflower seeds along this hedge and we're using a woodland mix and the great benefit of that is that there's things like foxgloves for bumblebees, there's red campion for bees later on and there are um, things like white campion and achillea for the hoverflies. And the hoverflies, for example, are fantastic pollinators. So all of the things that we do here increase the ecological impact in a good way and we gain a huge biological advantage for our crops. So I've just roughed up this soil um, with the tool and I'm going to sow a patch of this wildflower seed. This is woodland wildflower seed, so it's got foxgloves in it and it's got red campion and white campion and they're brilliant for wildlife. And I'm just going to leave that little patch there now and they can germinate and further back I've already sown some um, I've put in a primrose and I've put in a, a snowdrop and they can gradually just spread into the orchard over time and by doing it in this way rather than putting lots and lots in at once we can see if the plants like it and if they do they'll spread naturally and not become a competitor to all the plants that are already there. So here we are looking at what I did last year. I sowed, um, I planted actually, a musk mallow plug and it's spreading out and it's doing really well. And the great thing about musk mallow is it flowers most of the summer and it attracts lots of different types of insects, pollinators and predators, and it gradually self-seeds and it does quite well in the shade. So it's a great orchard wildflower to add.